Oh, a ghosty. Getting killed by Oh my, <laughs> his head was just split. Hello, welcome back to Game Episodes. In today's video, we are gonna be playing Immure Part One yet again. It is a side-scrolling horror game. It's pretty new, it was just released last week. And uh, we're gonna pick up where we left off with the story mode. In the first episode, we left off with Will finding the trapezohedron, which was allowing him to use some special abilities to illuminate scary features that were uh, hidden around the map of Amur. And we also destroyed an alien crab monster. From the monster that we killed, we got a metal shard, and we placed that into some weird obelisk that came out of the ground. And uh, an awesome triangle with electricity came out, and we flashed back to our previous life, or our maybe our real life, with our wife, Danielle. Um, don't know how to get there yet, but we did find the save guy, as he calls himself, and we saved our game. He told us to find a key, and that's where we're going to pick up. So without any further ado, let's get right into the action. All right, here we are with Ytub, the save guy. Okay, so we're supposed to be finding a key down some stairs in a white doorway, I think. All right, give me my trapezohedron here so I can see. It is charged up, which is good, so if we encounter any bad guys, can we go here? It's locked. If we encounter any bad guys, this thing can help us destroy them. I'm, I ping this thing like crazy because I always, I always want to find... Oh, here's some stairs. Head downstairs. Alright, this is good news. We wanted to find a white door. Oh. What? What did do? I believe a missing letter is here. I believe that missing letter is I. What did I do to deserve this? Maybe what did you do to deserve this? Through time and space, he said. It won't open, it must be locked. We need to find a key somewhere here. Can we open this door? Uh oh, I'm walking all by myself here. A handgun, strange that somebody would leave it like this here. Yeah, uh, let's take that handgun because that's probably for me. Looks like that somebody also left a note. Okay, let's read the note. Sir Will, I took the liberty of retrieving your handgun for you. As you know, it won't be able to eradicate the most capable of wraiths. Hey, we now know what the crazy crab alien thing is called, a wraith. Uh, but several doses of lead should put them down for a time. If you find yourself under assault with only a bullet to spare, a well-timed shot as they are striking should provide a moment of reprieve. Also, my dear Will, if you want to keep your head affixed to your neck, then you must learn to keep quiet and stick to the darkness. You may find the darkness arduous, but it is only necessary to put out your light sources when they are within eyesight. Sound, however, as has a way of penetrating doors and thin walls, so you must always be attentive of how much noise you are making. Of course, these places you will be visiting have a tendency to break the natural laws that, have, that govern the world of man. Just keep your wits about you and you should be fine. I have a few errands to take care of, but, the, uh, but rest assured, I will be seeing you later. Sincerely, Johnny. All right, I don't know who Johnny is, but thank you, Johnny. This handgun is mine? How is that possible? I, I can't use this. Fearing what's yours is pathetic. <laughs> the, the trapezohedron is mocking me. It is a destructive tool. Take it. Yes, I want to take the handgun. Will, however, does not want to take it. Stubbornness will only get me killed. I'll take it, despite an antagonizing crystal telling me to. There we go. Handgun added to inventory. Haven't held one in quite some time. I should refamiliarize myself with it. All right. Let's do that. Hold the right button to enter the aiming state. Ooh, oh, that's what was happening when I was holding the right button in the last episode and the, the trapezohedron was like floating away. It just goes uh, directly above me so I can light the area I'm about to shoot. Uh, press the left button while aiming to shoot your gun. Should I shoot something? I don't know. I guess I have to. Should I shoot this statue? No ammo. Figures. Haha. <laughs> Troll. Can I find ammo in here somewhere? Oh, hello. What's this? Eesh. Oh, I have a key all of a sudden. Oh, this is the key from the safe room guy. Yes, let's use that. Round and round and round and round. Uh, you know what? I'm not quite sure I want to go. What is past here, if I may ask? Uh, it's complete darkness. Oh, okay. It phased me back. I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. That's fine. Let me... Sprint a little bit here. Let's go through the door. Seems like the only option. Yes, I want to enter the door. Oh boy. 
creepy door noise. Oh, man. Silence is killing me. Okay, that could have been a lot scarier. Some kind of lobby. Do I have my... Trapezohedron? Yes, I do. Employees only. Can I enter this? No, I can't. That's creepy. Examine the seating. Looks pretty comfy, but where is everyone? Oh my, did not expect a fire to turn on, but that's kind of cool. Can I just hang out here? Like, this looks way nicer than any of the other... Uh-oh. I was about to say this looks way nicer than anything else that we've seen. That's scary. What the? Do you feel how dense the air is in here, Will? When these spots are revealed through my power, you will see what once was. Uh... Oh, a ghosty! Getting killed by s Oh my! <laughs> His head was just split. That is intense. Should I do it again? Oh, we get to watch it as many times as we want. <laughs> oh, that's pretty rough. I can examine this. What is this, a desk bell? I could ring it if I wanted to. If somebody's nearby, they will probably hear it. Should I ring the desk bell? Yeah, let's... Come here, whoever you are. I feel like that was probably a bad idea. Employees only still. Uh, did I even run this way yet? We just have a wall. Okay. That was pointless. I hear a voice. Oh, I'm out of energy already. <laughs> you know, I don't know how to pull my handgun out. There we go. suppose that's useful. Alright, we've got a, a trash bin here. Oh my. What does it say? Apartments. And there's a, a crazy cryptic looking locking mechanism. Is this the way out? What is this thing on the door? Yeah, that's crazy. Take a look at this thing. Okay, nothing happens here. Can I... I can't charge my trapezohedron with it. Yeah, you know what? I like this. I, I feel like this is a happy place. There's a comfy couch. I can't get out, but there's a comfy couch. Some plants. Some music, a fire. I'd like to stay here. But unfortunately, we must move on. Get back to our wife, Danielle. Oh boy, here we go. Entering the stairwell west. Oh, I thought that was a ghost. Oh. This is some creepy junk. Examine this. Blocked by collapsed debris. All right, you know I gotta ping this thing to see it. Did a door just open? I swear. I just... Oh, that's my footsteps. Okay. Whew. Gosh, this is. T that's not good. That door just closed. Sh should I go through it? Oh man, I'm scared to see what's on the other side of this. We're gonna go through it. Oh boy, what is that? That's not good. Footsteps, seems like I'm not alone here. Okay, don't know what to do. Completely terrified. Enter apartment one. Okay, that seems relatively safe. That creeped me out. Oh, thank you. Says I'm pretty. Oh boy. This place reeks, I hope this isn't what I think it is. Oh God, there's a kitchen back there. I'm too terrified to play this game. Oh, okay. Weird. Ooh, a drawer. It's a drawer below the sink. Might have something inside. Nice, batteries. Yeah, let's check those. Left drawer, nothing in there. The fridge, what is this thing? Pick up the child's drawing. All right. So we've got, it looks like a fire happened here. There were some firefighters, a little kid who was crying, and the firefighters saved them. That's a nice drawing. I like, okay, somebody's here. Oh my God. Dude, what do I do? Oh! I literally have goosebumps right now. Your eyes are glowing and you have red stuff coming out of your mouth. Uh, hello? Oh my God. 
that really, I need to take a second here. Whew. <clears throat> okay. Uh, hello? Hello there, mister. I see you found one of my drawings. That I did. My name is Anne Marie. Who are you? My name is Will, and I'm looking for a way to leave this building. Do you know how? Uh, that is a strange question. Isn't that what the front door is for? Well, yeah, but there's some type of lock over the door. A lock? Um, well, don't all the doors have locks? Oh, she's being sassy. You do know you can unlock doors from the inside, right? She's real sassy. I... never mind. Are there others who might be able to help me? Hmm, well, there is Brennan. She, oh, you know what? She's on fire. That's what it is. Her dress is like embers. And her hair is like on fire and spitting embers. Brennan, but I don't think he likes me anymore. Oh, there are all my friends down below who have gathered for my tea party. You're a strange person, <laughs> but my friends like strange people, so you should join us. Okay, kids, if you're watching Stranger Danger, don't invite strangers to your tea parties. Uh, thanks for the invite, but I don't have time to play. Maybe I'll go talk to this Brennan. Okay, well, I'm looking for a certain somebody who has al who is always late to tea parties. If you find him, be sure to bring him to it, okay? If you do, I might be able to help you get out of here. I don't. Maybe I will. We will see. Thanks, mister. Bye. Okay, leave now, please. Thank you. Does she turn into something super creepy? I'm gonna ping her. Okay, she just left. I still hear noises. Not good. Enter the bedroom. Eesh. I'm so tired. Okay, well, I can't sleep on that. Well, I could hide in here. Why can't I hide in here? I'm, I'm gonna remember that because if something goes bad, photo of a couple, but it looks almost like the stock photo is strange. Oh, the light, I can flick the light on and off. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna remember that I can hide in this like wardrobe here because I imagine something scary is gonna happen when I come back out. <laughs> or maybe when I go in through here. Oh, my god. Am I more than just skin? Oh, oh my god. My face was exactly like his. Oh. This is <laughs> this is not a casual game. <laughs> I messaged the developers on Twitter and I said, is this a casual game? And they're like, eh, <laughs> kind of, if you don't mind getting terrified. Oh, that's funny. Look at this toilet paper roll. Can I like, examine the body? Mutilated beyond recognition. Somebody must have kept smashing this man for long after he died. All right, can I... I really don't like any of this. Oh, I can hide in the uh, other wardrobe over here, too. Cool. Alright, I guess let's keep going this way. Check the next apartment out. Uh-oh. Oh, there's some smoke coming out of this door. I thought it said it would reveal that thick gas. Alright, you know what? Let's go into uh, apartment two. It doesn't seem to want to open. Can I pick up some rocks here? I can hide in this wall crack. Ooh, that's cool. A lot of hiding places. First floor elevator here. Enter apartment three. Okay, it is on fire for sure. What is this? That's a creepy abyss. Hey, handgun ammo, nice. Do I have to reload it? Combine? Hey, there we go. So to put ammo in your handgun, you just need to click combine. Seems like a raging inferno over here. E, examine. It makes no sense. When I look out to where the rest of this room is supposed to be, there's just nothing. I can't walk any further, so I'm gonna walk back because that's also creepy. I just pinged this tetrahedron so much. You could tell, when I ping this thing a ton, I'm pretty scared. 
No, 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 no. I just heard footsteps. Did you guys hear that? Where were those footsteps coming from? I hear him again. Oh, God. Like, okay. Okay, I'm hiding. They're so close. Yeah, they're pretty close. I don't know a way around. Like, I'm pretty sure I need to get around whatever the enemy that is. Dude. By good golly, gosh. There's somebody in here now. No, but I could hide in that bedroom if I need to. All right, I'm gonna remember all these hiding spots because I feel like I'm gonna have to hide and get by a bad guy pretty soon here. Because I heard some of those creepy alien footsteps, those wraith footsteps. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a charging port. Yes. Oh, it's a safe room. Dude, where are these footsteps coming from? I hear them, but I don't see any bad guys. Huh. I'm freaked out a little bit. I don't know what to do. Okay, where are these footsteps coming from? They're coming from somewhere very close. Can I use this elevator? That's messed up. W, is it for me? All right, I'm gonna check out the safe room just to see. Okay, it's the same thing as it was before. I could just save in here. You know what, actually I will save because uh, I feel like something really scary is gonna happen. Let me save real quick, pal. Okay, I think that was it then. All right? Yeah, that was it. Get up. All right. Now we can go gun ho. Now we can figure some stuff out. Examine. Candles are sitting around some type of small altar. I've got a weird feeling about this door. Yeah, me too. Let's enter it. No, that's not. Okay, there's somebody walking around there for sure. Enter. Select an item to use. Didn't seem to work. Okay, I need to find some sort of a key then, I guess. What is this? Pick up radio. What can the radio do? Turn on. R, is that radio? I don't know how to get the radio out. Okay, so, you know what? I'm gonna head to the stairwell and go up another level. Is this stairwell gonna take me there is the question. All right, I think it is, but I can't get up through that way. I can only go down. Uh, it looks like I can't, oh, move the beams. Okay, I can do that. Get out of here. Okay, here's the lobby again. Maybe somebody came to the lobby. No, nobody came to the lobby. Okay, so the lobby is not the way I need to go. I need to be using the stairwell what is the stairwell west? Yeah, I need to be using this stairwell. I need to go up higher levels. We just went through all floor A. What's it, can I examine these rocks? No, I can't. All right, we're just gonna go in here, I guess. That is the big ax that we just saw kill somebody. Jesus, this ax is covered in blood and would require somebody twice my size to even carry it. All right, let's go into the apartment. It's jammed. Something is jammed in the keyhole. Can I just like take that out of there? I guess, I don't know. Piano music, oh Lord, oh my God. Yeah, let's get out of here, I guess. I'm hiding, I hope hiding is enough to get out oh my god it's a crazy vampire firefighter a 
Are there more? Oh, this is definitely a scary game. All right, I'm gonna go back into, let's see if we can get into this apartment here. Can't get in. This apartment, can we get in this one? Can't get in that one. There's a leg here. Oh, I can call the elevator. That's handy to know. I can enter this apartment. We've got news. Oh, man. A newspaper sitting on a chair. Could it be worth reading? Yeah, let's read it. Of course it's worth reading. New clue. Newspaper article. I found the following article dated July 7th, 1992 in a newspaper. Yesterday, a fire broke out at a small residence located in Carnegie, which tragically claimed the lives of an 8-year-old Anne-Marie McCoy. That's the girl who I talked to. And 27-year-old Thomas M. Davidson. Davidson was a firefighter. That's got to be the creepy guy who we saw. Along with fellow firefighter Brennan. Ooh, that could be the creepy guy that we saw. Brennan Alexander. Uh, they ran into the building after the mother of young Anne-Marie reported that her daughter was still trapped inside. Unfortunately, only Alexander made it back out of the building. So that's got to be Brendan that's still in here. The fire spread to a nearby home as well, but was stopped prior to causing additional damage. Authorities have yet to find the cause of the fire, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, you can read the rest of that on your own. Oh sh**. I gotta hide. I gotta hide, I gotta hide, I gotta hide, I gotta hide. I can't hide right here. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No! Oh, I can shoot him. I didn't even try to shoot him. I just thought I... <laughs> I just thought I was gonna be dead. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Oh. I didn't realize... I was reading the newspaper. What do you, you, just kill a guy reading a newspaper? That's not cool. Oh my. He's still in here. No. Oh my. Whew. Brennan, be nice, Brennan. Oh man. All right, we're getting close to our 20 minute mark. I'm gonna escape Brennan. I'm gonna hit that save room. Oh, he's right by me. I'm gonna find that save room. Save and we're gonna call it a day. He's stomping around by me. Alright, I'm out. I'm out of here. Save room. I didn't I didn't even try to shoot him. I should have tried to shoot. Oh shit. Watch my mouth. <laughs> that's that's my friend. Okay, she's okay. He's definitely still walking around though. Where's the save room? Oh hi, Will. Have you found my friend? Yeah, I found him. Definitely not him. We need to find him and take him to the part tea party. Okay. All right, kid. You better help me afterwards though. Oh man. All right, we gotta save. That was enough for one day. That's That was pretty intense. Okay. I was killed by Brennan. Found a creepy girl. Oh, I'm at a loss for words for this episode. That was just terrifying. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the second episode of Immure, the scary side-scrolling horror game. <laughs> if you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Immure. Is it scary? For me, definitely with the headset on, it's scary. Uh, and that's it, guys. I will see you in the next one.